Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2015 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 20, which also came up in the Grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. So the question is, Bill has two boxes of marbles. In the first box, 25% of the marbles are yellow. Furthermore, 5 times the number of marbles in the first box is equal 6 times the number of marbles in the second box. The total number of all marbles in both boxes... Alright, now let's just quickly reread the first sentence. So it says, Bill has two boxes of marbles. Alright, well, let X be the number of marbles in the first box, and let's have Y be the number of marbles in the second box. So Y marbles in the second box. Okay. Alright, now let's look at the second sentence. It says, in the first box, 25% of the marbles are yellow. Now, that's also like saying a quarter of the marbles are yellow. But now, if we look through the rest of the question, it says, furthermore, five times the number of marbles, six. Total number of marbles in both boxes. And looking at the options, it never has anything to do with yellow or any color. So we don't need to worry about yellow. So all we need to worry about is that in the first box, a quarter of the marbles are that color, which means that X must be divisible by four. Okay, now let's look at the next sentence. Furthermore, Five times the number of marbles in the first box is equal six times the number of marbles in the second box. Well, we have the number of marbles in the first box being x, so that means that we have 5x, and that's equal to six times the number of marbles in the second box, which is y, so we have 6y. Okay, so now let's look at this. 5x is equal to 6y. Well, we know 5x is equal to 6 times something. Now, that means that 5x must be divisible by 6. But now looking at 5 and 6, they don't have any common factors other than just 1. Which means that x must be divisible by 6. So not only is x divisible by 4, but it's also divisible, must be divisible by 6. Okay. And that means that x must be divisible by the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6. So now let's write the lowest common multiple as LCM of 4 and 6. Alright, now we need to think, well, how do we find the lowest common multiple of two numbers, like 4 and 6? Well, what we have to do is find the prime factorization of both those numbers, which is prime factorization of 4 and the prime factorization of 6. Okay, so we have LCM, so the lowest common multiple of, and now for 4, it's just 2 times 2, comma, and for 6, it's just 2 times 3. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to collect our prime factors. Now let's see what are our prime factors. Well, we just have 2 and 3. All right. Now we need to, what we need to do with, let's say, now the 2, we're looking at the 2. We need to use the most, number, the most factors of 2 in one of the prime factorizations. So in the prime factorization of 4, we use two 2's. And in the prime factorization of 6, we only use one 2. So we must use the mo most number of 2's, which is 2. So we have 2 times 2. And now for 3, the other prime factor, we have, well, there's only one 3. So that means that we must have that 3. And that is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. 
times 3 is equal to 12. Which means that x must be divisible by 4, 6, and 12. Alright, now another way of writing that x is divisible by 12 is by writing x is equal to 12a for any positive integer of a. Okay. All right, now we have x is equal to 12a. Now let's look here again for our 5x is 6y. Well, we can substitute that in. So we would have 5 times 5 times 12a, and that's equal to the 6y. Now, if we only want y, we will divide both sides by 6. So, 12 divided by 6 is 2. 5 times 2 is 10, so we have 10a is equal to just y. Alright, so we have x is equal to 12a and y is equal to 10a. Now, from our question, the last sentence which we want to look at is the total number of all marbles in both boxes. Well, what that means is we want the total number of marbles in the first box plus the total number of marbles in the second box. Well, that means that we must do x plus y. And now we can do this because we have both x and y in terms of just one variable, which is with a. So we have 12a plus 10a is equal to 22a. Therefore, the total number of marbles in both boxes must be divisible by 22. So, let's look at our possible options. Now, option A, it's divisible by 10. Well, 22 is not a multiple, or 22, well, is not a multiple of 10, which means that it is not always divisible by 10. So therefore, it's not option A. Now let's look at option B. It is divisible by 12. Well, now again, 22 is not a multiple of 12, which means it is not always divisible by 12. Now let's look at option C. It is divisible by 20. Well, no, we have 22A, and 22 is not a multiple of 20. And so that can't be true. So now option D is divisible by 22. Well, we know that's true because here we have our 22. And option E is divisible by 24. Well, no, that's not true. 22 is not a multiple of 24 and also vice versa. It doesn't work. Now option F can be smaller than 21. Well, that's not true because even if A is the lowest possible in lowest positive integer, which should be 1, it would still be 22. So the smallest that it can be is 22. So f is wrong. And finally, option g cannot be smaller than 42. Well, that's false because if a was 1, well, we would just have 22. And that's smaller than 42. So we know our correct option is d is divisible by 22. If you'd like to more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.